This is another Sudoku Primer video. Go to sudokuprimer.com for more information. In this video we're going to cover an easy puzzle. Uh, talk about concepts you can use to solve an easy puzzle. Uh, this is puzzle number 27 in Sudoku to Go volume 99 by Soap Opera Digest. Um, we'll talk about some more basic concepts here, uh, things you can do to solve a fairly simple puzzle. This is the easiest in this volume. And look for um, a medium, a hard, and a diabolical video uh, where we solve each one of the four levels in this book. Uh, they will be coming out soon also. Uh, to get started, you notice that um, the top and bottom rows are only missing two numbers, uh, two empty cells in the top and in the bottom. So let's look at those first. Uh, this is called row completion. Uh, you've got uh, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1 and 3 missing here. And in, or in order to solve those, it's pretty straightforward. You just look for a 1 or a 3 here. There's a 3 there, so that's a 1. And then therefore that's a 3, because it's the only cell left. Uh, now on the bottom here we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 4 and 6 missing. There's a 4 right there. So we'll put a 6 here and a 4 there. Uh, now we've got a column here that's only missing three numbers. Let's look at that one. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, seven, and nine are missing. There's a three there, so that's seven or nine. Uh, we don't see three, seven, or nine in this square or in this row, so let's look here. We've got a nine, so that's a three or a seven. Seven or nine, three, seven, or nine. So we can't solve any of those. Um, let's look at. Um, <clears throat> uh, let's use another technique here. We'll use what's called uh, uh, going through sections. We're just going to go through sections uh, one at a time. Like look at this square, and look at these sections here, and then look at this square, and go through these sections. And we'll just start with 1 and go all the way through 9. So we've got a 1 here and a 1 here, so that's a 1. 1, 1, 1. One of those is a 1. There's a 1 there, so that's a 1. And then we've got 1, 1, 1. 1 has to go here. We've got a 1 there and a 1 there, so that is the 1 there. And we've got all our 1's completed. Okay, let's go to twos. Two, two, two. There's a two there. So we know that's a two. Two. We got a two here. So two. And a two there, a two there, and a two there. So we know that's got to be a two. Now that we filled that one in, we've got a 2 there and a 2 there, so one of these middle ones has to be a 2. There's a 2 there, so it's one of those two. Okay, 3's. 3, 3, 3. We've got a 3 here, so one of these is a 3. Can't solve it. 3, 3. One of these is a 3. 3, 3. One of those. 3, 3, 3. There's a 3 there, so one of these two. Um, <coughs> let's look at 4's. 4, 4. So one of those is a 4. Oh, we got a 4 here. 4 here. So one of these two is a 4. Okay. Um, 
because one of these is a 4, that means none of these other ones can be a 4 in this column. So this column is, even though we don't know which one of these is a 4, we know that 4 has to go in this square. So these can't be 4s. So that means one of these two is a 4. This is what we call ghost 4s here. We know one of these two is a 4. So we'll, call, we'll look for those later, but uh, those are ghost 4s. We got a four here, and a four, and a four. So one of these two up. Oh, this one's already filled in, so that's got to be a four right there. Okay. Now that we filled that four in, four, four, four. So that's got to be a four right there. Okay. Now the bottom section, four, four, and four. One of these is a four. Okay, let's go to fives. Five, five. That has to be a five right there. Five, five, five. And there's a five there. So that's a five. On the bottom, five, five, and five. And there's a five there. So that's a five. Let's see, do we have all our fives now? Yes, okay. Sixes, six, six, one of these is a six, there's a six there and a six there, so that's a six, 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 and there's a six there, so that's a six, six, one of these is a six, and there's a six there. Okay, let's just look right here, we've got one more cell in this square. Seven, eight, nine. So that's a seven. Okay. So we got a seven, seven, and one of these is a seven. We don't have any sevens up here, so we don't know which of these is can be a seven or is a seven. Okay, so we got seven, seven, seven. Okay, we can't solve those, we can't solve those because there aren't sevens there. So we got a seven here and a seven here. So that's a seven. Um, seven. One of these four has to be a seven. There's a seven there. One of these two has to be a seven. Okay. Seven, seven, seven. Can't do much with sevens yet. Eight, eight, eight. Okay, none of those are eights. Don't have any eights in the middle. An eight, eight, and eight here. Okay. So don't know that one yet. Okay. There is a way to find that one. It's a little bit more advanced. Um, since we've got an eight here and an eight here, one of these two has to be an eight, and we know one of these two has to be an eight. So that means if that's an eight then that's an 8. If that's an 8, then that's an 8. So that covers these two columns. That's what we call double column elimination. And so this has to be an 8 right here. That's a little bit more advanced. Okay, we got a 999. Okay, we got a 9 here. We've got ghost 9s here. Because one of these has to be a 9, so 9, 9, so that's a 9. Okay, 9, 9, there's a 9 right there. So we know a 9 there and a 9 there, and one of these middle ones has to be a 9, in this middle row in this section. We've got a 9, a 9, and so that's a 9 right there. Let's go through the sections one more time because we filled in a lot of numbers and usually when you fill in numbers and then, then you'll find other ones. So we got ones, I think we're done with our ones, twos, okay one of these six is a two and there's a two in the middle so it's one of these two, 
and then we've got a 2 and a 2 there, so that's a 2. We've got a 2 here and a 2 here, so one of these is a 2. And there's a 2 there, so it's got to be one of these two. 3, 3, 3. Still don't know the 3. 3, 3. One of these three is a three. Three, three, three. Let's do fours. Four. Okay, we know one of these is a four and there's a four there. So it's got to be a four. Four, four, four. Okay, four, four, four. Four, four, four. One of these is a four. Can't solve those yet because we don't know which of these is a four or which of these is a four. Okay, let's look at fives. Five, 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 five. We're done with our fives. Six, 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 six. Okay, six. Okay, six, six, six. Right there. Okay, sevens. Seven. Seven. 7, okay, that's the only number missing in this square, so that's got to be a 7. We know one of these is a 7. Got a 7 here. No 7s here or here, so one of these 4 has to be a 7. We got a 7 there and a 7 there, so we know that's a 7. Okay, because we filled that 7 in, we know 7, 7, so we know that's a 7. Okay. Now we know that this is a 7 because what are we missing here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 7, 9. So that one's a 7. And that's a 9. Okay, now you got a 9 there and a 9 there. We'll just fill that in real quick. Now we've got 7, 7, 7. And 7, 7, 7. So we've got 7 there, 7 there. So we know that's a 7. 8. There's an 8 here, the only one that's left in that square. Now let's see, we've got an 8 here and an 8 here, so one of these two is an 8. One of these two is an 8, and one of these two. Let's see, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, oh, there's an 8 there, so one of these two is an 8, and one of these two is an 8. Um, let's do 9s real quick. Nine, 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 nine. Okay, and at this point we're getting close to finishing, so we can really look at these. This one right here we can complete. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's a three. I think it's a good idea, even though I saw that that was a 3, I just went through us, the rest of the numbers in that column to make sure that I was getting the right one. This one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so that's a 2. Okay, now we're only missing two numbers here and one here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so that's a 2. And one, two, three, eight, nine. There's a three there, so that's a three and an eight. Uh, now we've only got two two numbers missing in these two squares, two empty cells, and then two right here. Let's finish this row right here. One, two, three, five, seven, eight, nine, three. Okay. And we got a 3 here and a 3 here now, so that's a 3. Now I just complete this square right here. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so that's a 4. And this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 8. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. 8, 9. So we should be able to get those. There's an 8, so that's a 4, and that's an 8. Okay. 
Okay, that was an easy puzzle. Um, fairly straightforward, but uh, could be a little tricky if, you, if you're not too familiar with uh, Sudoku yet. But that's how um, a few techniques you can use to solve easy puzzles. Thanks for watching and uh, check out sudokuprimer.com for more tips and techniques.